Good day, class. We are your teachers for today in science. And I am Mom Chana Luis Nabra. Hi, I am Teacher Desiril. Hello, everyone. My name is J. Ann R. Initan. Good day, class. I am Miss Darcy K. Gavayaan, or you can call me Miss Darcy. Good day, everyone. I am Carl Gitanero from BS Ed Math 1A. And today, I will be doing my teaching demonstration for the Part A and B of the procedure of our lesson plan. Good morning, class. Before we start, my request everybody to please stand for the prayer. Um, Sam, can you please lead the prayer? Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Once again, a beautiful morning to my dear students. Wow, what a good morning indeed. I can see a lot of pretty faces today. Are you excited for our lesson today? Of course, you should be. So before we take our seats, kindly pick up the pieces of papers and arrange your chairs properly. Very well, you can now take your seat. Now let us first check your attendance. Very good, no one is absent. Okay, so since everyone is settled, let's have a short activity in preparation to our lesson this morning. So I want you to make your own map of success through a roadmap graphic organizer. Are you familiar with that? So this is what it looks like. So what you are going to do is to list down all the steps you take in order to achieve the things you desire or your goals in life and show it to the class. You can have at least five steps. Five steps to reach your goals. Let's try to trace your distance from your success by doing this activity. This activity will lead you to our lesson this morning. Okay, are you done? Okay, can I have a volunteer to present your work here in front? Yes, please, write it. Give it a hand to Mr. Velia Fente for a job well done. Now, let's proceed to our lesson this morning. And this will be discussed by Teacher Desiree. Before we start our lesson, let us first watch this short video. Imagine you're playing in a playground. Think of all the things around you that can move. The seesaw goes up and down. The swings go back and forth. The merry-go-round goes around in a circle. There are so many ways in which things move. Everything we just described is a type of motion. To sum up the video, it tells us that there is movement around us. Now, if you look from your left to right, you can see movement. This movement may come from both living and non-living things. The change in the position for a particular time interval is called motion. In simple words, motion is the movement of objects. But when can we say that an object moved? We can say that the object changes position through a reference point. You might ask, teacher, what is a reference point? Reference point is the starting point or the origin for the measuring motion. For example, I have my hands here. When I move my left hand, my right hand could act as the reference point of the motion as it is the starting point of my hand's movement. After this, you can now start describing motion with the question, how far did the object travel? There are actually two ways to answer this question. The first one is distance, and the second one is displacement. Distance refers to the total length of the path traveled by the object. On the other hand, displacement is the measure of the distance or the length of the straight line between the initial position of the object and the final position of the object. To understand more, let us look in the following figure of a dog. In figure 1, it is shown that the dog ran 10 meters to the east, then 5 meters to the south, and another meter to the west. 
the distance is represented by broken lines in the figure. So if you sum all of the length traveled by the objects where the dog has traveled, it would result to a total of 25 meters. Then the displacement, which was represented by continuous lines, it could be seen that the dog has traveled 5 meters to the south. Let us remember that only the initial and final position matters in displacement. To continue the topic that we have started, let us now have Mom, Jan, and Luis to further enrich our understanding from the topic. Thank you, Mom Desarrollo Sasenya. At this moment, class, let us further discuss of what will is the difference between distance and displacement. So, distance versus displacement. Distance refers to the total length of the entire path that the object traveled. While displacement, um, can somebody please read what is displacement? Yes, Mr. Salas. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Salas. Thank you for reading for us. So, when we say distance, it is the total length of the entire path that an object or a person traveled from one place to another. And distance is described by a single number indicating size, magnitude, or dimensions. For example, 10 meters. So, 10 meters is the magnitude of that distance, where 10 is the number and meters is the unit. And to get the distance traveled by an object, we just need to add all the lengths covered by an object. And this can be represented by this formula, where total distance is equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 and so on, where d1 is the distance 1, d2 is the distance 2, and d3 is the distance 3, and so on, depending on the number of lengths it covered by an object. And take note that the value of the distance is always positive. And now class, let's talk about displacement, which was read by Mr. Salas just a while ago. So displacement, it is the shortest distance from the initial position to the final position. In other words, displacement is the straight line distance from the initial position to the final position. And displacement is described by both the magnitude and the direction. For example, 10 meters east. So 10 meters is the magnitude and east is the direction. And we can find the displacement class by finding the difference between the final position and the initial position. And take note that the displacement or the value of the displacement can be positive, negative, or even zero. So based from the example which was given by Mom Desiral earlier, the initial position of the dog is 10 meters. And the final position is the sum of the 5 meters to the south and 10 meters to the west, which equals to 15 meters. So the displacement of the dog is the difference of 15 meters and 10 meters. Therefore, the displacement of the dog traveled is 5 meters. And here are some il illustrations showing the difference between distance traveled, which was re is represented by broken lines by an object, and its displacement, which is represented by continuous line. So observe this illustration, these four pictures. And my question is, um, from these illustrations, what have you um, what have you noticed about the difference between the distance and displacement? Yes, you are correct, class. That displacement always follow a straight line. And distance doesn't always follow a straight line, depending on the path it follows. Next question, class. Um, can distance and displacement be equal? Yes, you are absolutely correct, class. And this can happen if the path traveled is a straight line, just like in the first picture, where distance and displacement are equal as it follows a straight line. So I guess you really now understand about distance and displacement, class, as you got all the correct answers from my questions. And yes, that is all our discussions for today about distance and displacement. So now since we are done discussing about distance and displacement, let us proceed to our application which will be introduced by Mom Darcy K. Yaon. Okay, now let us test your comprehension of the topic that has been discussed, distance and displacement. So we will be having a game which is called 
trick to me. So I want you to observe the concepts of distance and displacement while letting you travel from one location to another and move in the shortest distance between the initial and final position. So this is what will going to happen. I want you to move out from your chairs and form a line apart from the number of chairs you are sitting in. So you may stand now and then form a line there and you there as well. So and then I will stand here in the center. So I will play some music and when the music stops playing, the student who is facing uh, opposite in my direction will walk toward me and have the opportunity to answer the question. Is it clear? Alright, so after that student has given his response, I want you all to respond in chorus before I am going to spell the correct answer. So understood? Are you all ready? Okay, let us now begin your trip to me. Okay, so you can see or move your body according to the music. Okay, so come here, Miss Carabio. Okay, your question is, it is the shortest distance between the initial and final positions of an object. Mm -hmm. So, everyone. Okay, so very good. You got it all right. It is this placement. So, okay, you may now go back to your places and then we'll continue to question number two. Oh, it's come here, Mr. Mata. Okay, your question is, a person travels five meters to the east, then three meters to the north. Calculate the distance. Yes, four meters. No, everyone. Yes, it, it's eight meters, Mr. Mata. Okay, for round three. Okay, you are lucky, Mr. Arsenal. So, your question is, it is a change in the location of an object. Mm-hmm. Everyone, what's the answer? I can hear you again. Yes, very good. Motion. Okay, go back to your place. Next. Okay, come here, Miss Lorente. Your question is, the boy from the north run eight meters east, four meters south, then eight meters west. What is the displacement traveled by the boy if he runs directly from north to south? All right, yes, that is four meters. Very good. Okay, for the last question. All right, Miss Pakibo, very lucky. So, the last question is, it is the total length of the path taken by an object or a person when going from one location to another. Yes, everyone? Distance, yes, it is correct. So, that's all. So, we are done. Thank you, class, for participating. I can see that majority comprehend the lesson we discussed today. So, settle down now and return to your chairs. Okay, to sum up, going back to our topic, distance and displacement, could someone state the distinction between distance and the displacement in our own dialect? Anyone? Yes, Miss Rosales. Okay, very good. So nahubad good no. So thank you, Miss Rosales. And you can take your seat now.
So again, class, no other questions and clarifications about the topic that we've discussed. So if none, I want everyone to please get one short pen paper and kindly answer the following questions. Okay, for our test one, identify or write true if the statement is correct and write false if it is incorrect. Place your answers on the space provided. And for our test two, calculate the distance and displacement in each of the following situations. I will give you 10 minutes to answer the questions. Okay, time is up. And I guess everyone is done. Let's check your answers. Kindly exchange your papers to your seatmates. Okay, let's check. For our test one, what's your answer for number one? Okay, yes, it is correct. The statement is true. For our number two, yes, also correct. It is true. And for our number three, yes, correct. The statement is false. And for our number four, yes, correct. The statement is false. And for our last number for our test one, yes, correct. The statement is also true. Okay, let's move on to our test two. What's your answer for the number one? Yes, please. Correct. The answer is zero. For our number two? Yes, please. Correct. 800 meter. For our number three? Yes. Correct. Also, it is, also, it is zero. For our number four, yes. Correct. 82 meters. And lastly, for our number five? Yes, please. Correct. 10 meter. Let's give a hand for everyone. Okay. Please return your papers to the owner. So who got the perfect scores? Raise your hand. Oh, I guess almost everybody got the perfect score. Please give a hand to everyone. And for 9 below, Oh, it is still good. So clap your hands. Okay, class. Now for your assignment, in your notebook, answer the following questions. For number one, based on the lesson, define motion. Again, for number one, based on the lesson, define motion. And for number two, how does distance and displacement differ from one another? Again, for number two, how does distance and displacement differ from one another? Okay, that's it. Thank you for your active participation and for your attendance. A big clap for everyone. That's it. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, class, and goodbye. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, class. Thank you for today.